right, we've got your latest drill down earnings report on Marvel. No, this is not Marvel with the superheroes and Thor and all that stuff. No, Marvel, they make semiconductors. They reported a really, really interesting quarter, fourth quarter results from the company uh, coming across the tape after the close. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Corey Johnson, Futurum's chief market strategist. Marvell earnings, uh, it was uh, okay, a beat if you want to call it that. Uh, but here's what the business did when we look a little bit deeper. $1.4 billion in revenues. That's basically flat from last year, up 0.6%. And operating profits of $22.47 million. That's down from last year. It's, you know, 1.4 in revenues and just 22 million in, in operating profits. I'm gonna call it they squeak by and continue to live for another day. Not that they're about to go into business, but it's an interesting time for this semiconductor business when we look at the numbers behind the headline numbers. So uh, strong growth in data centers, really fantastic growth. 54, well, think of it this way, sorry, let's let's go back a little bit. Four businesses here, data center enterprise carriers, that's telecommunications carriers, and automotive and industrial. Well, three of those stunk, and one was great. So data center was great, of 54%, but enterprise, down 28%, carrier, down 38%, automotive, down 17%. I had to be careful not to put up my middle finger there, with the enterprise business, but data carriers is great. Everything else, not so great. And the guidance was down for the subsequent quarter. Net revenue is expected to be $1.15 billion. So how did the stock react when the numbers came out? It went down initially, came back a little bit, but this thing has been on a run for the last week. Uh, and indeed for the last year, the stock's almost doubled. So given that the, the business, the underlying business is not doing so well, but indicating that things are gonna get better because of AI, that certainly was the focus. Here's Marvell's CEO, Matt Murphy. I, I don't think I've ever seen more design win activity you know, in my career as right now in AI, custom silicon, networking, optics, you, know, you name it, this whole transformation that's going on in data center architectures is creating this, this massive opportunity for Marvell specifically on the custom portion of it. I mean, we're talking about a TAM creation that's gonna be in the tens of billions of dollars range. And we'll talk more about that at our AI day, but very significant sort of um, opportunity that's emerging in front of us. And that being said, I, I view that as very complementary to the, the merchant leader in this space. I think both are, are have a place, given the workloads that are required, given the scale of computing that's needed. And I don't think it's a zero sum game. I've been saying this for a while. I think both segments, the merchant side as well as the custom side are gonna to grow to be very enormous TAMs. And so, yeah, we're right in the mix on all the major opportunities and programs. We have assembled an incredible team, an incredible portfolio of technology. So that kind of excitement, you know, you can see maybe why the stock is up. I don't know. Uh, the numbers aren't there quite yet, but the suggestion is they're gonna be there. Um, when you say, and I think that I'm hearing that from every CEO that we hear from is, is that there is so much activity and excitement going on really in semiconductors. Semiconductors are going to eat the world, as my boss Daniel Newman says. And indeed, we're starting to see that from companies like Marvell. All right, what's it all mean? What's your big drill on earnings takeaway? And one number that tells us a whole lot about Marvell right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Here's your drill down earnings takeaway on Marvell, that important semiconductor company that does not make superheroes. They make semiconductors, custom semiconductors often. They had $1.4 billion in revenues, which is basically flat with the previous year, as was uh, their profit margins, basically flat, basically zero for the year. But a lot of excitement, a lot of bad businesses, bad business in automotive and industrial, bad business in telecommunications, bad business uh, in the enterprise business, but their data center business going great guns, and that is the nature of the bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot. 38%, that's how much that business increased just over the last quarter. So fantastic growth in their data center business, suggesting things are gonna get better for Marvell. Maybe not soon, but eventually. Thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check us out on all the socials. Drill Down Earnings, part of 6.5 Media.